So I got a call from Jeremy Schaefer recently, and he hey, called Matt. me up and told me... I want to go to the Origami USA convention. I bought my plane ticket, and I called up Rob's World. So I said... Yeah, let's do it. And guess what? He's going too. When June 21st came, I shaved, got ready, and headed out to pick him up at the airport. Hey, all right, Rob's here. Say hey. hi to him. We're live streaming. Oh, are you? Hey, what's yeah. up? <laughs> all right. What's up, man? How you doing? How's it going? Good. You want to get in? Yes. After we had some lunch, we then drove to St. John's University in Queens, New York for the convention. Hey guys, I'm here at the Origami USA convention. And I'm here too. With Jeremy. And we just designed some new origami boomerangs. And this is how my boomerang flies. We designed some new boomerangs, and we tested them out in the hall there. I also got attacked by a stray ninja star. Comment down below if you want to see how it's made. Ooh. Rob. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? We're here at the Origami USA convention in the exhibit room, and you guys see some of this stuff. This is some awesome stuff. Check that out. The exhibit there was really awesome, sort of like an origami museum. They had all different sections where talented folders showed off their own designs or even their models that they had completed. It was almost like a zoo with different animals, insects, and other creatures. There were large and small samurai models, different characters, and really awesome dragons. I also got to meet Satoshi Kamiya, who designs really intricate origami models of almost anything, from birds, animals, to even dragons that have scales on them, all from one piece of paper. He even did a car commercial using origami stop motion that you might have seen. As you can see, the models are really incredible. Other designers and folders did origami Pokemon, different geometric shapes, and even sea creatures. There were turtles, sharks, and even this puffer fish that I really liked. They also had mini or micro origami and models folded from money as well. By far the best part was getting to meet and greet other folders, like Donnie who made me this awesome face hugger. Hey what's up guys, I'm here with Torcel and it's my buddy Elliot and this is this is Torcel's little uh, M16 gun that he made, really cool. Alright, see ya! Bye. I also got to teach other people, and the first thing I did was the Ninja Star Boomerang. Wow, that was a good one. Flick your wrist up like that, okay? Yeah, like that. I stared at it. Oh! Is that one my company? Better than Donna? The person who went to write for this as well as the person to do. She said, that was good. There you go, there you go, that was good. That was better. You're gonna take it, hold it like this, and you're gonna kind of flick it out like that, alright? Flick it out, come on. Nice. Hey, hi. Hi, guys. It's oh, wait! I'm sorry. I've been subscribed to this side with the one in middle school. Oh, my God. I also got to teach the Ninja Tri-Star Boomerang, which wound up being everyone's favorite. I was really amazed at how neat everyone was, and how well they were able to follow along and make the Ninja Tri-Star Boomerangs. After we finished folding them, I then showed them how to throw it. Right near the end of the airfoil, toss it out, and then catch it. Yeah, that was great. That was a great throw. 
Whoa! Oh, you had it, you had it. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Nice throw. Whoa! Wow! Let me see. Go ahead, what, what, what happened? Just not, just not boomerang. I wanted to make sure everyone could catch it, so I helped as best I could. There you go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Very good. Nice job, buddy. Can I get a picture? Yeah, sure. Wow, nice job. Oh, you got that? You got that? Yeah, got that. Oh, wow. With a little help and practice, everyone started to nice. become like boomerang pros. Catch it, catch it. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's getting into it here. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Oh, yeah! Nice. Awesome, man. Nice catch. Throw it really vertical. Flick your wrist out. Good, good, good. Nice. Give it a nice flick. Nice spin. You want to really spin it. Good. Nice. Get it. Nice throw. And I'll mind too. My teacher. People of all ages wanted to join in on the fun. Yes, yes. Thank you. Whoa. Good, good. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just put your hands out, like both of them flat, like this. Put your hands, catch it right in your hand. Just let it fall right in your hand. Let it fall right in your hand. There you go. Great job. There you go, buddy. Nice job. I also got to host a paper airplane contest, and the first event was the longest flight. On your mark, get set, and fly. On your mark, get set, and fly. Very good. What we got? 409. 409. The second event was the longest distance. Okay. Ready? Well, on my count. On your mark, get set, and fly! We got two planes over here. Both of them look like their arrows don't touch. Oh, there's, there's one other one over here. Okay. So that is 93. That's like. The last event was for accuracy. On your mark, get set, and fly! Oh! We then gave away awards to the airplane contest winners. Great job. That's 50. Good job, yep, for the adults. All right. Soft for Richmond, good job. Good job, Spencer. All right. Do it the next highest one is 316. Good job. Here you go, buddy. Good job. That's two already. Distance. Good job, Sean. There you go, buddy. 93 feet. There you go. Hope you had fun. You all did really well. Got some really nice planes out there. And we ended the convention by catching Jeremy's new ninja star. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching my vlog. I haven't done one in a while, but I had such a good time at the Origami Convention. I'd like to thank Origami USA. They actually featured me on their website and they were really helpful. I really enjoyed meeting everyone and teaching the boomerangs, especially when everyone was throwing them and catching them. It was a really good time. And I really enjoyed hosting the paper airplane contest where people had some really cool designs. It's actually 1.15 in the morning on Saturday, June 29th, which is my birthday. So, yep, I'm gonna try to enjoy my weekend. So I hope you guys also have a great weekend and I hope you're all enjoying your summer vacation.
Give the video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoy it, and also subscribe and click that notification bell to stay notified. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see the new Ninja Star Boomerang design that I came up with, and I'll see you guys soon.